Welcome to another version of the Iron Horse Pulling Team. I uh, thought I didn't think I'd probably do another update until this spring, but the weather's been nice. I've uh, been out here working, getting a little thing, getting a few things done. Um, guy, we couldn't ask for better weather. Just wish we had a better corn crop. I know in my area here, uh, like my fields here, they only went around 80 bushels, so can't buy a lot of tractor parts with 80 bushel corn. So. But uh, we have been getting some stuff done. Um, really, like I said, I, I'm getting more excited every day with this thing. Um, just to kind of show you some things that we've done, I've kind of left one side of the wheels off. Um, here, as you see, we got the uh, all the front weight brackets welded on. I do got the, over here on this side here, I got the tabs welded. I'm gonna put some threaded rod in there to hold that on. Um, had one of my fellow competitors get on me about using John Deere weights. Um, I guess if you can't beat them, you might as well join them. Uh, at least I don't have a John Deere engine in it. So, um, but uh, but no, we're it is we're using white 2105 sheet metal. Uh, I am getting it all welded together. Uh, this is going to be a one piece tilt hood. Uh, when it's all done, it'll tilt up from the from the back by the pedestal back there. Um, we did take about two inches off of it. Uh, Made it about two inches shorter. Um, you can, can't really tell when we get to the other side, I can. Um, I'm in the process here making the uh, steering pedestal here. Um, and then this will all be closed in in 12 gauge sheet metal along with this hole here. That'll be all done in 12 gauge. That, that material will be here next week. Uh, so I think my t steel guy's probably getting tired of me coming to his house and ordering more stuff just when you think you got enough. Uh, we did get the cage put on, um, turned out really good. Uh, sure the heck ain't going anywhere and I don't really want to take it off again. I put this thing on by myself I'm getting too old to do stuff like that. But uh, as you can see we got the uh, tie bars in they go clear to the front up by the motor mounts clear to the back axles um, Like they're supposed to and then they tie in they actually tie in See this little uh, cradle here. I built this is where my bell housing belts to um, And then uh, like I said, I'm using a pro bell bell housing this all ties together right in here. It's all bolted in solid. It ain't gonna float or anything like that. Um, but uh, that turned out pretty good. Um, and you can see I got my disc brakes all done here. Um, on this side here, that's the way they're gonna look. As you can see this bar right here, um, I did the other side first. And I'll tell you, the other side does not look like this side because uh, I put the, uh, put the, welded all the bars on the plates then I had that, oh crap moment. I wonder if the brake hot rotor is gonna fit. And of course it didn't. So I had to cut a notch out of it and piece some stuff in it. So that just kind of stuff happens, you learn. And then we got it tied into the frame right here too, also with some bolts to kind of help uh, help help it up uh, and uh, stuff. So uh, there's there's how, the, how it's gonna look on this side here. Uh, then there'll be, uh, we'll use Wildwood disc brakes. Um, and then we'll use wildwood uh, pedals. Uh, still debating on whether to go with a hydraulic clutch uh, pedal or go with a manual. I haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, I'm still trying to figure that part out. Uh, that's kind of the way we do it is, is you get kind of get into it and then you figure it out once you get into it. Uh, we got the seat all in there and everything. Um, we cut about probably six inches off this cage. It was a used cage I bought. Made it look, made it SFI'd. All the requirements for SFI with the with the bolts and everything and the plates and the gussets and so we should be good there. As we go around here to the back here, we got the got the back all done. We're gonna we're gonna weld uh, weld the weight brackets back here for the IH weights back here. So you can see we're pretty narrow. We're not very wide on this tractor. Um, and uh, like I said, I kind of like I really like the way it looks as far as. Uh, as far as the way it turns out here, just the rake on it and everything looks like it belongs like it's supposed to and put a lot of thought into it. Um, and uh, like I said, I don't have a lot of really fancy tools. Heck, up until a couple months ago, I didn't even have a wire welder. Um, but I mean, I build a lot of this stuff just with a hand grinder and a cutoff wheel. And uh, you know, like I said, we're not a fancy operation. Um, and like I said, we built this thing ourselves here and uh, like I said, this is kind of my get out of the house type uh, stuff here and, and kind of get your mind off of what's going on in the world, especially with everything that's been going on here lately. So, um, but like I said, I hope we will be pulling next year. Um, did get some other stuff here built. Um, I don't know if I showed this the other, last time. Um, we got our turbo. Um, a buddy of mine, Dennis Murphy, gave me this turbo to try. It is an HX60. 
And our rules have said they got to be three inch in, four inch out. And for people who don't understand what three inch in, four inch out, three inch in is this hole here has got to be three, cannot be any bigger than three inches. And that wheel has got to protrude into the, into the center here. Um, and then on the other side where they say three by four, that wheel on this side can't be bigger than four inches out, which this is a 3.6. So, uh, so this one is going to work perfect for us. Um, like I said, I was get it sent off to somebody and get the latest updates put in it. And uh, I was really happy, really, I mean, really appreciate Dennis letting us try it and see if we could make it work. Um, this here is the intake manifold I built the other day. Um, this plate here is a Keating plate. Um, this part here was a Keating. And then these, all these are is 16 gauge. I think they're 16. They're 16 gauge lumalized tubing I bought from Jegs along with this four inch tube. It all came from Jegs. And uh, like I said, we just kind of, like I said, I'm not a TIG guy, um, but we kind of, I think we got it to where it'll work. I mean, we're going to come in here and put right in here. We got, we got to put three, um, three little gussets in there. Not really gussets. They're, uh, they call them, um, I just can't think it is, but there'll be three injectors per cylinder. So you'll have one, two, three. And the way, the way these systems work is you got one, one is like your drive around nozzle. Your second one is your second stage and your third one's your third stage. Second and third is either on or off. There's no in between. Um, and then there'll be a, I'm gonna get me a Wilson, um, Wilson uh, barrel valve or uh, throttle body for that. And a Hillborn single in, single out uh, barrel valve for the fuel metering on that. Um, so that's uh, some of the things that we still gotta get. Um, but uh, I talked to, uh, Talked to Terry Blackburn the other day. Uh, he said that the uh, the crank and or the block or the rods and the rods and pistons are done and are waiting for the crankshaft to come back. So as soon as the crankshaft or the I'm sorry the camshaft, as soon as the camshaft comes back, uh, we will get uh, we'll get them parts over to my local machine shop and uh, get them started on it. Um, Larry Deemers over at the Napa store in Carroll, Iowa, was working on that stuff and. They do really nice work over there. They do a lot of uh, race car stuff and they understand uh, some tractor parts and stuff. They do quite a bit of tractor parts. And uh, so we're gonna, uh, we're gonna just keep uh, plugging away at this thing. And like I said, I doubt if we put anything else out here until next spring, um, just because, you know, we were fortunate to have this weather the way we, way we are. And uh, like I said, uh, if it does stay warm and we keep working on it, I'll keep posting videos. So. Um, like I said, we're not too far off now. Thank you.